previously on The Random Review Show. Hi, and welcome to the very first episode of The Random Review Show. Ah! Holy shit, I think it's burning a hole in my stomach! Ah! So, how's your arm? I'm sure it's doing fine. I'm going to take revenge for this! Science has chosen you for a little experiment. In an act of generosity, I have given you a robot arm. Please be so kind as to pluck yourself in. And now on the random review show. Look, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm on the run. That's where I am. No, I'm not being paranoid again. Someone abducted me. Yes, well, I thought it was a dream at first too. Well, <laughs> the first clue was I woke up with a tag on my toe. Yeah, I, I spotted it a few hours later. Well, <laughs> yeah, and then the second clue was I suddenly gained a robotic arm. That was kind of a giveaway. Look, for the foreseeable future, I'll be on the run. You will have to do the show without me. I'll, I'll, I'll film some remote sections and send them in to you. Yeah, I suppose, go on. As long as it's our normal, high standard of quality. Okay. Bye. Hi, I'm Thomas, and today I'll be reviewing a new fiction. A new semi-long fiction. Now this is kind of the last minute idea, so I don't have a camera, so I'm using my network and I'm operating for the moment. This may shock you, but earphones do not make very good microphones. So, uh, sorry for the distortion. I'm just bored it now. And here's the ship. The Astenaline Holondica, filmed in Glorious QVGA! So I just boarded the ship, I then had to unintuitively go up a small flight of stairs, and then I began my tour. A reception, a duty free, a restaurant, some seats, a place to relieve you of your money, an epic staircase, expensive seats, futuristic seat, outside seats. A children's torture room, a cinema, a mystery room, and more seats. I've gone up to the camping area now. We'll just get some quiet and uh, talk to you for a bit. Um, so you walking around with a notebook, pointing outwards, speaking into an earphone. Makes me feel slightly self-conscious. I don't know why that is, um, but it just does. The other advantage of going to the cabin area is you can see a good idea of the scale of the ship. I just show you the corridor. I've just walked partially down. Pretty long, and that doesn't even run the full length of the ship. Um. So I think that the ferry is very nice, very clean. Um, the outside area is particularly nice, multi-level decking. Wide area you can walk about with outside. I noticed it had an ice cream stand there. Uh, not selling ice cream at the moment, but it's a nice idea. 
Um, oh, I like the multiplex TV screen area. Looks very flash that. Very uh, Tony Starkish that. Multiple screens all around you. You can flip audio channels by plugging your earphones in. Or in my case, my microphone. Um, uh, they also supply free Wi-Fi. They uh, supply in little cards which give you three hours at a time, which is a little odd given it's free anyway. The children's area was still playing Curious George, I noticed. They had this on their old ferry, and I think they've been running that non-stop on a loop for about ten years now. I'm pretty sure the children will be thoroughly fed up with it by now, and probably the crew as well. Other than that, the ship's generally got a much grander feel than their last one. Um, big staircases, more space between seats. Uh, generally better laid out. The only fault being when you first go on the ship, you have to go up the stairs, which feels a little awkward. Apart from that, very nice ship. Of course, where would a complete review be without some statistics? So here's some I've extensively researched myself. These are the largest super ferries in the world. Side note, this doesn't mean they can fly. Over 375 million pounds have been spent on two more ships built in Germany. That's impossible. 240 meters in the left, that's 2.4 times as tall as Big Ben. Big Ben being 96.3 times as tall as 1 meter. Assuming we're talking about the tower and not the bear. Each 143 kilometers of cables used to build each super ferry. This is it. Apparently, four times the distance between Harwich and Wood Holland. Although, that raises the question why not have a giant death slide? The cargo deck is equivalent to the of three feet standard football pitches. Football pitches, of course, being the official unit of measurement for big things. The ferry can carry 300 freight and 230 cars. It has 1,376 beds and 538 cabins. There is also 12 kennels. The box adds. It has a bunk bed configuration, rather fancy mirror, a TV, which is new, and if you used to have a TV in the rooms. Um, bathroom and shower, and the shower is much better than they had before. And here's a simple feature, but I like it. Both English and European blood sockets. Very useful. So, overall, nice room, nice ferry, nice way to travel. Where would a complete review be without some statistics? So here's some I extensively researched myself. 21, 22, 23, 421.